Hello everybody. I'm Larry King. Today's topic is fate. Why do things happen the way they do? What if the forces of the universe acted just slightly differently? What would life be like? Let's talk to our guest in this altered universe, Jeff Foxworthy. I thought I was going to be on the talk show. Why are we at a press conference? Well, Jeff, this story is too big for my crappy talk show that nobody watches. We need to get the word out to the entire world. And beyond. What are you talking about? I'm just a comedian and an actor. Really, Jeff? Have you taken a look at yourself? Sir, we are in an alternate universe created by a twist of fate. You, Mr. Foxworthy, are a CPA and accountant. For those of you too stupid to know the term CPA. Holy balance sheet. What about all of my great one-liners about rednecks? Huh, Larry, I may look like an accountant, but at least I still am my own voice. What's up with your hip-hop voice? I think it's fat. Hectares ha ha. Why don't you try out a few of your redneck jokes? Okay, here goes. If your favorite computer game is Excel, you might be an accountant. What? What am I saying? Am I really an accountant? Yes, yes you are. Why don't you just roll with it? See where it goes. Okay, if you named your dog Sour Bands and Oxley, you might be an accountant. That's it. Keep going. If you say debit and credit when given driving directions, you might be an accountant. If you refuse to buy clothes at the Gap because you are convinced that it is misspelled, you might be an accountant. If you refer to your inability to control your appetite as a lack of internal control, you might be an accountant. If your favorite book on tape is the FASB codification, you might be an accountant. Wow. I wonder if your, you might be an accountant, jokes are as popular in this universe as your redneck jokes are in that other universe. When playing Wheel of Fortune, if you ask Pat Sajak whether or not you can 179 expense the value you just bought, you might be an accountant. If you make your kids submit the time sheet to get their allowance, you might be an accountant. If you think the four seasons are summer, fall, winter, and tax, you might be an accountant. If you view death as a tax planning tool, you might be an accountant. If you have a Form 1040 ornament hanging on your Christmas tree, you might be an accountant. Okay, I get it. That's enough about accountants. Let's talk about fate. How it played this cruel trick on you. Hey, back off, buddy. I have a switchblade pencil with number 4 age lead in my pocket protector, and I'm not afraid to use it. Ho, oh, take it easy being counter boy. All I meant was... Listen, pal. If you interrupt me one more time with your insults, I'm going to bury you deeper than Enron's financial statement notes. Yo, Jeff. I am just kidding with you. Maybe you need to take a 420 break. Okay. If you have mechanical pencils listed on your bridal registry, you might be an accountant. If you tell your wife that you cannot answer the question, do these jeans make my butt look big? Because you lack independence and that there may be a conflict of interest, you might be an accountant. If your wife buys an explanation, she might be an accountant. If you made the DNR clause in your living will contingent upon whether or not the estate tax was reinstituted for 2010, you might be an accountant. If you quit your political party back in 2008 because they did not make IFRS convergence a plank in their campaign platform, you might be an accountant. Oh wow, I actually did that. Really? If you look forward to funerals because they are a great opportunity to build your estate and give tax practice, you might be an accountant. If you deducted the cost of your mother's funeral as a business expense because of the network and opportunities, you might be an accountant. Hey, what's with all of the death references? Well, Larry, look at yourself. You look like the walking dead, and I'm guessing that the demographic you attract is in the same boat. Anyway. If you use the word attestation during a conversation, you might be an accountant. If you refer to your newborn child as your newest exemption, you might be an accountant. And my last one, if you refer to wife swapping as a like kind exchange, you might be an accountant. That was just for you, Larry.
hectares, ha ha. Was that your accountant dance? Yeah, wasn't it great? Oh yeah, I really dig it. I didn't know there were so many accounting jokes in all of the universes combined. Huh, Larry, the correct term is multiverse. Anyway, I have to go. I am late for an inventory count in Boston. What are you counting? Beans, of course. Well, there you have it. Jeff Foxworthy is still the king of the, you might be a, jokes, even if he is an accountant. For all of the geriatrics still awake, this is Larry King signing off. Peace out.